This AI and real world asset token will be a music to your ears as this thing blows up the charts. All right, everyone, let's hit it. Boom, and we're live. All right, everyone. It's going to be a short, sweet show tonight. It's going to be social for social sake. Welcome back to the Alpha Show. I am your host, Joe Bizzani, CEO and co-founder of Lunar Crush. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're coming at you every night at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, do not forget to go to LunarCrush.com. This is where I'm getting all of my picks from, checking out the alt rank. It's $5 a month, $4 a month if you pay annually. That's where I get all my picks. That's where I'm looking at everything from a social perspective. What do I got up here now? I'm looking at Opulus. So Opulus tokenized music assets. This one started to climb up the alt rank, started to look at it. There's some, some chart stuff that I'm going to show you. And we're going to look at a lot, of, a lot of social for social sake, as I'm saying tonight, but wanted to walk through a little bit of what these guys do tokenized music access um, assets and getting access to some of this through your Web3 wallet. Pretty cool. Um, you know, the mission, traditional financing structures within the music industry are outdated and centralized. Opulus democratizes music financing while strengthening the artist fan connection, creating a more equitable and supportive music industry. I love the disruption in this industry. It's a tough one to do. Um, so going after it, whoever finds success here is, uh, it's, that's going to be a massive, um, you know, it's going to be a massive industry. So always great to see when startups are embracing AI, you know, if you're a startup or you're a, a project and you're starting to integrate what's going on, you have to do it to stay competitive. Uh, so some kind of cool stuff that they're doing here with some of their data, they're actually overlaying, uh, the AI on top of their own. Uh, product here where um, they're trying to help you understand which tracks might have uh, better rewards and better earnings. And so they're utilizing AI for that, which is great. So it's um, pretty interesting to see a, you know, a project this small even trying to integrate AI. It's not easy. It doesn't make it into a lot of roadmaps. So great to see that um, as far as looking at some of their forecasting, which is pretty cool. So want to go back here, some cool stuff uh, that I saw with Opulus, you know, they are utilizing a couple of different chains for what they're doing. It looks like a lot of the DeFi aspect of what they're doing is on Arbitrum. Um, they also have some NFTs over on uh, Algorand, which is pretty cool too. A uh, big fan of the Algorand ecosystem. Uh, but looking at uh, this, this kind of OVALT tool here, you know, they have music rights on some pretty like amazing and sizable artists here. Um, with BTS, um, Prince, which is crazy, Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, Celine Dion, Phil, Co Phil Collins, True Colors, love that song. I'm not going to sing it. Um, you know, so there's there's a lot that's going on here. Again, you can see kind of the, you know, some of the the great artists. So pretty pretty impressive to see you know who they've got on this roster. It means that the the team does have the ability to go and close on uh, you know and close on some of these these IP rights for some of this music and looks like they've got the chops to build out what's happening here. So pretty cool, you know, taking a glance over the website, looking, you know, they've got where to go get the token, how to stake. Um, you can view your collection, look at all the sales. Um, obviously you're going to do some marketing stuff with the raffles and then they've got kind of their two DeFi tools that are out there as well. And so like the narrative, real world asset, like the narrative within AI, you know, what, what does it look like from a social perspective? Um, and, you know, when I said, look at social for social stake, sometimes what we like to do over at Lunar Crush is, you know, we, when we started this thing, it was, Hey, you know, what has just a groundswell of community over time that continues to move up? What does that look like? And almost kind of putting the blinders on to not even looking at, you know, what a project does you know, where, like what the liquidity pools look like, what it looks like from a TA perspective, you know, part of what we sometimes like to do is say, you know, as a human, you cannot possibly take in everything that's happening on social media all day, every day. There's way too much content. There's millions and millions of posts that are coming in. And so sometimes you just let the listening tool do the work and say, 
is there some sort of groundswell on a project for community over time? And what does that look like? And that's the signal. And that's the signal that sometimes we're looking at. And so looking at Opulus over a six month time period here, I'm looking at the social dominance. So I'm seeing a nice increase of this over time, you know, interactions. I'm seeing a nice kind of increase off of a low here over time posts, you know, very similar, you know, how many posts each day that are coming through for Opulus. And so as you can see, there's a lot of correlation here between price performance and how many people are out there talking about this, learning about this. And that means that as more people are learning about this, they're finding out that, hey, this is something that, you know, is interesting to me. And the price kind of continues to follow on top of that. And so this is a great way to kind of understand like, hey, at six months of time period, we're still seeing that kind of growth. Um, and then, you know, how do you trade it? Right. And so, you know, looking at alt rank here, kind of like zooming in, um, you know, when you have a project that's kind of consistent, consistently moving up, sure, you could say, you know, hey, just buy a little bit each week and you can dollar cost average and get in there. Or if you want to add a little bit more science to it, you know, the way that we kind of see that is when there's these big spikes in alt rank, that means there's probably a little bit of a pullback in what's going on. Um, and if you can buy on red days, why not buy on red days and get yourself a couple more percentage points of return? if you can kind of get get down to that. And so cracking into this one week here, you know, here's a great example, you know, alt rank really, really low, things start to kind of move up. As it starts to take a little bit of a break here, alt rank is shooting up well over a thousand on, on Opulus. And so it's like, this is probably where price is going to take a break for a little bit. Can't, alt rank can't get down to those, those top numbers here. It's at 385, still downward movement. And then bam, here you go. It starts to move down and we've got this movement up. Um, so just a great way to kind of look at the market and say, Hey, are, is, is there ways that I can go and potentially, you know, get a couple extra percentage points on purchasing when things are slowing down a little bit on an overall narrative though, that things continue to kind of move up on this six month chart. So something really interesting I'm looking at, I, I like the narrative in and of itself, but just social for social sake. Uh, there's a lot of positives that I'm seeing here as far as the groundswell and community that we'd like to see. Uh, over at Lunar Crush, um, you know, looking at some of the creators that are out here too, it's always great to see, you know, large accounts talking about these things, especially as they kind of continue to roll into this bull market. A lot of a lot of retail is looking at influencers and trying to understand what's going to move and what's not. So some of the people that are talking about this, you know, you even got people over on Reddit, you know, tons of followers, big accounts, like real world asset watch list, which is great. Um, and then a bunch of huge accounts that are just kind of consistently talking about this day in and day out. Obviously, some influencers, some KOLs are bullish on what's happening in Opulus. And so nice to see a strong amount of people out here talking about this. A couple hundred influencers in the last 24 hours and some of them being some really big accounts. So that's also another point of uh, strength when it comes to social, if you're looking at what's going on here. Um, you know, another thing is just the actual Opulus app account here, looking at six months, you know, what are they, what are they, you know, looking at the number of followers that they have, um, you know, and then their creator rank. And so creator rank is looking at all of the creators that we have on Lunar Crush. So it's not just crypto oriented folks or people that are talking about stocks or NFTs. This is everyone talking about the 32 categories that we cover. So, you know, Opulus is, you know, um, up against you know, Elon Musk or, um, you know, Kim Kardashian, like we're pulling in everyone that talks about fashion and cars and everything else, NFL, NBA. So, you know, to have a creator rank that kind of consistently goes down, you want to be, it's like alt rank number one is the best is really good. So that's a pretty quality number to be at for a, you know, we'll call mid-size cryptocurrency project that's out there. Um, and you can see their account, you know, obviously their, their marketing is picked up. And their account is growing as well over the last six months. So that's really good to see. Also good to see, you know, if you want to come in here and understand, you know, positive, neutral or negative posts that are out there, what's the sentiment around what they're posting? This is a great place to come look at that too, to understand, hey, how active is this account? Is it out there? Are they continuing to post? Looks like they are. Looking at the kind of the longer term picture here, um, you know, looking at Max, a lot of you know, I, I don't cover too many projects that have charts like this, but that doesn't mean that, you know, the, the projects from the last cycles aren't going to do really well. This is not really, I would even call last cycle is like end of last cycle or maybe launch and right at the start of last cycle. Um, obviously charts like this, a lot of stuff looks like that. 
Um, but as you kind of zoom in on what's going on in the last three months, in the last year, you know, you can start to see some momentum that's out there. Um, also, you know, when you do look at charts like this, you think, okay, there might be a lot more token that's out there on the market. There's a lot more uh, decentralization that's out there as well as things kind of get flushed out. That's also good to see. And so movements like this take a lot more effort from the market in order to make that happen. So, you know, some, some pretty good stuff, you know, looking at the markets down here, um, looking at the volume, you know, good volume across some good centralized exchanges, even a little bit uh, on some DEXs. And so a nice kind of even market here that also kind of gives you confidence that, um, you know, there's enough liquidity to, to get into the market, which is great. Um, so this is my pick for today. I, I love the narrative, you know, for me, you know, as uh, someone that's into music, I love to see people building and disrupting in this category. You know, this is a, this is, seems like to be a project that's really growing and the community is out there really growing. So really, I think there's, you know, some legs in what's going on. And like I said, keep an eye on that alt rank as things start to kind of pull back here, look for your entry points. So thank you guys. Amazing show. The Alpha Show every night, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. You guys.